Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to go over hypotonic solutions. So let's get started. Hypotonic IV solutions have a lower osmolarity than the blood, hence a lower concentration of solutes in the fluid. And because of this, osmosis will cause water to move from the extracellular space to the intracellular space, which can swell the cell to the point where it may rupture. Now these fluids are going to help dilute the extracellular space and replenish the inside of the cell. And why would this be beneficial? Well, if there's too much solute concentration in the blood, for example, the patient has hypernatremia, we can dilute that with these solutions. Plus it can help provide free water to help the kidneys excrete waste and prevent dehydration. And some hypotonic solutions include half normal saline, 0.225% saline, 0.33% saline, and of course the 5% dextrose and water. But again, that started out as ice isotonic, but once in the body, it becomes hypotonic. So it goes between both. And some things you want to remember as a nurse about hypotonic solutions is that they cause the cell to swell because fluid is leaving the extracellular fluid and going into the intracellular fluid, which could cause brain swelling. So you want to monitor for mental status changes, low blood pressure, hypovolemia. And because we are giving some free water to the extracellular space, we could give too much. So that could really water down the sodium level. So you want to monitor for hyponatremia and then monitor patients who are more fluid sensitive, especially if they have heart failure and renal failure because they cannot handle the extra water. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the description below.